Welcome back to my channel. I'm Magali and I make regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel and lifestyle. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit the red subscribe button below this video so that you'll be subscribed and you'll never miss when I put out a new video. This video is going to be all about my pieces of gold jewelry. Most of this is stuff that my mom has handed down to me. Growing up way until my mid 20s, I always really dislike gold jewelry. India is one of the largest jewelry markets in the world actually when it comes to gold. But most of the gold available in India is a very specific aesthetic. Like it's usually really heavy because people judge your jewelry by the weight of it and also most of the jewelry is something that's ethnic themed and looks very good if you're wearing like indian style traditional clothes but the same things wouldn't really look that good on an everyday basis and they wouldn't look good on someone who has a more contemporary more western style of dressing only since the last few months i've really started to get into gold jewelry seriously and i think it was a very happy day for my mom when i went up to her and asked her if she could like lend me some of her pieces and she was like so generous she was very excited and she just showed me all of her stuff and i picked out the things that i like from there this is a good box for storage it's not something that you would keep at the top of your dressing table it doesn't look great nope. there are little dividers inside so you can easily like put your different pieces in these sections and they would remain separate it's also pretty easy to pack this and carry it with you in holiday and you can take out the divisions as well and make them into bigger slots so here you can see i've taken out the divisions and put in a few of my watches i'm going to take you through all of the pieces the gold at least that are in this box and some of them have stories attached so obviously i'll tell you about the stories and i'll tell you about its significance to me because you know i love talking so yeah let's get started i have the most chains and pendants but i also have some bracelets some rings and some earrings start with earrings there aren't too many this is a simple pair of stud earrings from mia they have a stone in the middle i'm not sure what but it is purple so it kind of looks like amethyst i could be wrong there's actually three different metal colors on the gold the piece is gold but it's just a finish that gives it different colors some of it is regular yellow gold some parts of the earring are rose gold some parts of the earring are white gold it's not a very big stud neither is it small it just sits on your earlobe and looks pretty next i have one very simple pair of diamond earrings these are the tiniest bit of studs i've had these for years and i remember i used to wear these in school also just because like school had strict rules around jewelry even if something was like a little bit long or it had any dangly elements that might not be allowed so this is the kind of stud that um, you can just put on your ears and forget about it for literal years and the third pair of earrings this is actually one of the heritage pieces this is really traditionally goan i am goan catholic by descent so a lot of these pieces or at least some of them are going to have those traditional elements to them that fellow goans might recognize like there is that portuguese influence this is a very simple pair of like hook earring and this was gifted to my mom by her aunt the original earring was only the top and the hook but she added this little like double chain with pearl element it's very light and so easy to put on and i think it's quite secure though i would still recommend if you have something like this take it off at the end of the day because it can get lost or fall off so now i'm going to show you guys the three rings that i have these are also all my mother's she just gave it to me thank you mama you're welcome <laughs> the first one that i have it's more of a statement piece i 
wouldn't usually go for a ring that looks like this because I prefer simple bands but I realized that you know you can just put this on and it sort of uh, it makes a statement and I recently wore this in a blog post also on my blog the main aspect of this ring is this coin that you guys can see it's actually a sovereign I wanted to know exactly what a sovereign was before I made this video so I looked it up now these are basically solid gold British commemorative coins. Whenever a new British monarch ascended the throne, they would mint these coins. You could just collect them as coins, but also you could get jewelry made with them. This has some male monarch on here, and I guess it says George. Now which George? Don't ask me. I like that it's a pretty simple setting. They've also put this border around the coin of these little balls the balls so it's something that's really Indian while the coin itself is very British so it's sort of a fusion piece and I think that's cool the next piece that I have is this ring from Jilly my mom bought this for herself when I was in school at some point I think I was in primary school so this is a pretty old piece but it has not been worn and I liked it from then the design is very cool it's got this heart lattice cut out and in the middle it's a solitaire so it's got one diamond set in between and it's a pretty large diamond like not large as in one carat or anything something that's cool is the diamond is actually a heart shaped diamond first i thought that i was imagining things and it's just a gold setting that is a heart but no the diamond is actually cut into a heart shape it's beautiful and it's a nice piece that I've been wearing a lot. The third ring that I have to show you guys is undoubtedly going to be one of the most special sentimental pieces along with a pendant that I will show you very soon. This is my mother's engagement ring. The ring itself is new. It's not heritage. It is something that was made when she and my dad were getting married. But the diamonds, the diamonds are precious. These belonged to my great grandmother she had a necklace or something that had a lot of diamonds uh, it broke at some part my great grandmother also passed away my mom and her siblings were given the diamonds from that necklace so this ring has four antique diamonds in it that come from my great grandmother's necklace and if you look at the diamonds they actually don't shine as much as newer diamond diamond cutting was not so advanced as it is now so it's not cut as beautifully but obviously it has a lot of sentimental value for me and we don't have a lot of heritage pieces everything that's here is something that my parents have worked hard and bought and I get to enjoy the rewards of it so a few connections to the past feel even doubly special now I'm going to show you the two bracelets that I have this is one of them it's this really heavy bracelet a chunky chain design it's sort of an androgynous piece it's not something that's automatically very girly or feminine even a man could easily wear this and it looks good layered with a watch or something or you can wear it on its own also it just looks really nice and it looks like a little bit nautical to me almost it is a cool piece that is very me this next bracelet that i have this is something that my mother bought for me must be about 10 to 12 years ago it's from this italian brand called rosato it's not available in india anymore so for a while this indian jeweler called jilly had brought rosato stuff down to india so i really like this bracelet the minute i saw it because I had always been obsessed with the idea of charm bracelets and this is a charm bracelet but it only has two charms. I was very skinny when this bracelet was purchased so three charms looked like a little too much on my wrist and these charms you can easily remove them. You can put this on a chain, you can wear it as a pendant and the two charms on here are a kitten heel sandal, beautiful pink lipstick. The charms are also real gold. They do have enameling on them. So because this bracelet was from an Italian design house, it was absurdly expensive compared to regular gold jewelry. Usually you buy gold jewelry both by the design and by the weight. Now though this doesn't weigh much, it was expensive, but I liked it and I threw a tantrum for it, which I kind of feel bad about because I was being a bit of a brat. But also, I don't completely regret it because it got me this bracelet and I still love this bracelet 
I still wear it a lot. I have worn it in so many posts on my blog. Come to think of it, I've had it over 10 years. I've worn it a lot. I can see myself wearing it decades down the line. It is beautiful. And I'm sad that the jeweler is not around still like rosato is not available because i would have bought another charm by now i'm stuck with two charms until i actually make a trip to italy or something and pick up more all that we're left with are the necklaces or the chains and pendants i actually only have one necklace i'm using the word necklace for something that has a fixed pendant and I'm saying chains and pendants when I can switch them out. One necklace that I have, I'm wearing. I've had this name chain since I was in school. So I must have been either in primary or secondary school. I don't remember. I must have been around 8 or 12 years or something when my mom got this made for me. And she always wanted me to have a name chain. So she just got this done at a jeweler. And she took an existing thicker chain that she already had. Asked him to cut it and to attach my name in the middle. I kind of don't like the textured effect that he's given my name. There are some stripes, there are some circular things and it's a bit weird. I would have liked if he had kept it simple but it's not bad and I enjoy wearing it. And now I actually have four different chains varying by thickness and style. This is the thickest chain that I have. It's actually thick because this is a man's chain I guess. Not that chains are gendered but this was my dad's chain and I think he's had it since he was pretty young and I just like the look of it so I kind of took it <laughs> but he doesn't wear jewelry much anyway but this is the heaviest chain that I own and I wear this with all the heavier pendants that I'm going to show you guys now this next chain is exactly as old as me I suppose because this was gifted to me by my maternal grandparents at my baptism which is the time when Catholic children are named and inducted into their religion this is quite a cool chain it's pretty light and thin but it's got these little balls and diamonds uh, fixed all throughout it you can kind of just wear it on its own and it's interesting enough or you can put like a pendant on it also and it still looks cool even with some pendants this simple cross pendant looks kind of good on the chain i can layer these two the cross and my name and I just learned that this simple cross was also my dad's and it's not the only cross I own. These are the remaining two chains. There's this plain kind of thin chain and there is this chain which my mother laughs at whenever I wear because this is like literally the thinnest gold chain you have seen in your life. It's so thin and it's so short. It kind of just looks like a thread. We have always worried that one tug on this and it will break but touch wood it has not broken so far. So this actually looks kind of cool on really uh, delicate pendants. The pendant ends up resting on your collarbones. I like that I have it because some looks just call for something very subtle. So now let's just get through the pendants. Here's one pendant that I have. It's one of my favorites and I always wear this with my thinnest gold chain. This is just cherries. Not a vine but it's just got the stalks and it's got the leaves. On the cherries there is enameling work done similar to my Rosato bracelet. So that's why they're this beautiful red color. Cherries are something that just like looks cool and goes with everything. Again I've worn this multiple times on my blog and I reach for it a lot. Two subtle pendants that I have in my collection. I actually have not worn these a lot. They are I think both my mother's. One is this cut out sort of heart and this is another piece that has got uh, two diamonds on it. I think it's got a slightly smaller diamond on top. Ever so slightly larger one down but they're both tiny diamonds. Heart is just one of those designs that you see replicated a lot in many ways along with dolphins and crosses if you're religious. The next one I have is this pendant with an anchor on it and it's very cool because it's got this sort of like rope design that is wrapped around the anchor and then it forms a circle around the whole anchor. Anchor is also one of those themes that you see replicated a lot in jewelry and even in tattoos because of what it signifies like anchoring you, keeping you centered, getting you home. For our family this is more significant because my dad was in the merchant navy so he was sailing. Fashion that is nautical themed is something that uh, has a little more sentimental value for me again and this was bought by my mum sometime during overseas travel but I'm not sure exactly when or where. Another sovereign jewelry piece but this is a pendant because I showed you guys the sovereign ring earlier and they're not a set they don't match but the designs are kind of similar 
this also has these gold balls around it but in little triangles it's got queen victoria at the back you can see some guy on a horse and it says 1913 so cool if this coin was actually minted in 1913 that means it's over a hundred years old that is amazing another really small pendant that i would probably wear on my thinnest chain across it's got a really small diamond in the middle now i'm going to show you one of my most precious pieces that ties with my mother's engagement ring as my favorite piece of jewelry i really wanted a pendant that kind of looked like a coin or a medal i asked my mom if she had anything and this is also cool but i didn't want something that had these like designs on the side i just wanted it to be a simple coin or medal and she showed me this piece this is actually a medal it has a mary help of christians on it which is a particular depiction of mother mary and baby jesus sacred heart at the back so this pendant is something that my great grandmother owned and she didn't really own a lot of pieces i think I don't think she had the easiest life or anything. So when she passed away, this went to her daughter, which uh, was my mom's aunt. And then she passed it down to my mother. That aunt also passed away <clears throat> quite some time ago now. So I don't think my mom really used it. I think she kept it really safely. And now she's given it to me when I use it. Not only is it a stylish piece, uh, it looks beautiful. But I always think of uh, the people that uh, have kept on passing it down and that's something that's very special to me and like it's a beautiful piece but also has history for me so that is something nice and now the very last piece that i'm going to show you guys pendant that my mom bought for me when i was young she also has a matching one this is by a jeweler that was really active in the 90s in dubai it was called ary i don't know if any of you kids like grew up in the gulf or something or even those of you that uh, grew up in india when cable tv had just sort of started in india late night ztv used to show ads for ary jewelry this is called the ary rainbow heart it's 10 grams and it's one of two pieces that is 24 karat gold because most gold available in dubai is really pure you get 22 karat mostly in india but 24 karat in dubai while this might look like just a plain solid gold pendant without any detailing it's actually got this 3d like holographic design in the middle and i think it's really cool i don't know how they managed this technology of putting a holographic image in gold something very interesting for sure that was everything from my current gold collection i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i'm really happy with the pieces that i own there's something that i can wear over many years gold doesn't rust or get spoiled easily i like that i can put a pair of earrings on or a chain on and keep it on for even weeks at a stretch do you guys like a uh, gold jewelry let me know what you think of it in the comments below and do you also have any special sentimental pieces even if you don't have any sentimental pieces i think it's time that you guys should go and make memories and make pieces when my mom just started earning money she bought herself uh, quite a lot of gold because she also didn't have much growing up and gold was always special to her so whenever she had a little bit of extra money saved she would make herself earrings or a pendant and back in the day there were no like big designer jewelry shops there were just local jewelers but uh, she amassed a collection like that and i'm thinking it's about time that i start as well making myself a few pieces that are mine but until then i'll thoroughly treasure everything i own i will see you guys in my next video bye